All right, let's take a look at uh, this proof. It is different than the one I'm kind of highlighting, but what I want you to notice is in the given that there's some words. Um, as always, the given basically gets translated down into the statement, and our reason for knowing it is that it was given to us. That's the easy thing. The thing I want you to get used to is that if something comes in words like a midpoint, a bisector, perpendicular, if, if there are words there, I can almost guarantee that one of the first things that you need to do is make a statement about um, about knowing something about that midpoint in this case. So for instance, we might say that WE is congruent to uh, BE. So this is the same as this. And my reason for knowing that would be the definition of a midpoint. Now the definition is usually the tool, the the tool that does the conversion. So the idea is that if I have something in word format, written words, if I want to translate that into um, things about sides and um, specifics, usually the translation is the definition. It is the definition of the midpoint, or the definition of the bisector, or the definition of um, a right angle, or the definition of supplement, or those kinds of things that basically unlocks the wording to become things about angles, size, congruence, equals. So think of uh, the definition when needing to convert from words to knowledge about sides and angles. It's a big hint.